So I've got a little setup here to show you guys how nitrous is delivered, but here's why it makes horsepower. So ambient air, what we're all breathing in, has about 20% oxygen in it, and nitrous oxide, N2O, has like 33% oxygen in it. So basically what it does when it sprays into your engine, it creates an oxygen-rich environment so you can burn more fuel and make more horsepower. Right? That's our favorite. Here's how it comes in. So it comes out of that sprayer plate and it's pretty well atomized. It's like 800 PSI, no big deal. So I've got our nitrous bottle bolted into the back of the Cadillac. It's nice and secure because this is obviously pretty flammable stuff inside. Check. Yeah, that's good. That's good, you feel good about it? I feel good about that. One thing you want to know, and when you're mounting these things, there's a siphon tube inside these bottles. It runs right down here and picks up the nitrous at the very bottom. You want to make sure that this thing is installed with the outlet pointed down or the whole bottle fully up. And the orientation should be facing this way because you accelerate. Yeah. You want all that down there. Exactly. It actually is a liquid inside the bottle, so pointed down towards the bottom, it's going to keep as much nitrous flowing to the engine as possible. We are about to mount the ride height sensors because we've got that kit that tells it exactly what each corner is doing. They're like little TPSs, little same kind of vibe. Potentiometers. Potentiometers, that's, the, that's what is they that are. The that's part? what the cell is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how these switches work. That's it. So it sends information via ohms resistance to the processor, and which will then in turn synchronize all four corners and front the rear, yeah. everything. And yeah. then there's a pressure sensor. You pile a bunch of people into the car. It sees there's more pressure. Yeah, like this will go levels. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty cool. Bring it back up. High tech stuff. So I've got the uh, suspension ride height sensor zipped into the frame here. And they've got a small rod. I'm going to use this to connect this with a standoff to the lower arm. So that as the suspension moves up and down, the sensor will read the exact ride height. Pretty straightforward. So it's not like we haven't cut enough up on this car. We had to relocate the front shocks because we have an airbag where the spring used to be and the shock used to travel through the center of the spring. So now we've relocated the shocks to in front of the airbag or where the spring used to be. And we have to fabricate lower control arm mounts, upper control arm mounts, cut a small spot through the frame for the shock to travel through and- Put a pedestal up top. Put a pedestal, a tower, shock tower shock on the top. Shock tower. So uh, yeah, it's bolt in job, no cutting necessary. Okay, so after a couple of days of hard work, we've got the BC Fab FPSS air suspension fully in there. We've got the nitrous kit, we've got our hooker, electronic exhaust, the LS53, and the last thing we need to do this thing is make it look a little bit better, right? We yeah. can't roll around on these old crusty dry rotted tires anymore. So I went out and grabbed some cool stuff. Wait, you get these after the road trip? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I don't want to ruin them. Yeah. I don't want to ruin them on the road. These are 17 by 8 US wheel deuces or type 455 and 17 by 8 with 235, 55, 17 BF Goodrich tires on here. And it's gonna make this thing awesome. I didn't wanna spend a million bucks. We never do on this show. So I didn't get a crazy alloy wheel. These are just nice steel wheels that come in a ton of different sizes. We got trim rings and you know moon style center caps. Slap these things on, the car goes on the ground and then we're gonna hit the road. Oh, they're heavy. Oh my God. Yeah, they're not white. These wheels are kind of nicer than the car. Don't say that, this car's beautiful. We got these wheels, just raw metal, and just did a paint with a spray can, you know, a little enamel appliance style epoxy. And they, look, and they look awesome. White, so we'll probably ruin them immediately. But for the next two weeks, it's gonna look bitchin'. Okay, so we've got the wheels and tires on. We gotta drop this thing down, torque them on. We've got to wire the nitrous switch. We've got a few extra things to do. And then we're going to take this thing out and hit the streets. Next time you see us, we will be outside with this thing fully laid out. The police behind us. Yeah. Cool. Running right. for our lives. Let's go.